Here is the final version for my elemental sword build, you overpowered bastards. This is for 1.07 version of the game and it is not fully, I mean to the maximum optimized. If this is optimized to the maximum, by that I mean if we get attack on all armor pieces and if we get Honda clan max rank, then you can one shot bosses with this build. Some of them at least. I honestly don't know why I'm calling this build elemental sword, since it is clearly based on AI quick draw, but we do utilize elements, so why the hell not? Sounds better than AI quick draw build, doesn't it? Heart is our main attribute, so put as many points as you can into it. 30 points into dexterity and magic is very useful during the end game so that we have maximum capacity for ninjutsu and magic to play around with. We also need minimum of 17 constitution, 17 skill, 13 stamina and 13 strength in order to wear all the sets that we want. Secondary weapon for this build is part of Profligate's inner set and those are dual swords. We do not use them, but we only have them to get 3 piece bonus. Main weapon, try to get paralysis accumulation increase and also backstab damage or active skill damage or high active skill damage. Rest is up to you. Primary set that we are wearing is Champion of Tosa because of Singular Mastery. It increases damage of certain active skill by 15% if it's the only active skill set to that stance, which it is in our case. Secondary set is Profligate Sinner as we already mentioned and we want this 3 piece bonus melee damage versus paralyzed enemy plus 40% which is quite a good bonus to have. Try to get typical stuff on the pieces, if you can get attack on every single piece it will increase your damage even further. I do recommend the eye quick draw damage on gloves and increase the attack and defense sword, or just get regular attack if you can. Now important bit is how you play with accessories for this build. Yasakani's Magatama is obviously a must. Now, I prefer melee damage versus poisoned enemy instead of melee damage versus paralyzed enemy, which would be an obvious choice here. Melee damage versus paralyzed enemy means that we can only benefit from it when enemy is paralyzed, but poison lasts for a certain period of time, so we get benefits for much longer than with melee damage versus paralyzed enemy. I would advise having melee damage versus poisoned enemy on secondary accessory as well and also try to get paralysis accumulation on both accessories. The thing I would recommend here is to have a third accessory that has melee damage versus paralyzed enemy. Reason behind this is that sometimes enemies are resistant to poison completely. In that case, if we have two bonuses that say melee damage versus poisoned enemy on both accessories, then we lose both bonuses completely. But if we have third accessory that we can just switch around before the boss fight, and then we get benefit plus 25% against paralyzed enemy instead of poisoned, then we do not lose as much. Guardian Spirit is obviously Tengen, because of stance based Amrita bonus, we also get extended elemental weapon which we use all the time and increased anima bonus through elemental attacks. Perfect setup for this build. Kasha is one of the soul cores because of the increased movement speed through Amrita absorption and also life drain from Yokai ability. Next one is Yatsu no Kami, because of melee damage versus poisoned enemy increase. Must have upgrades from Sword 3 are all EI quick draw upgrades. This is EI quick draw build, so it's non negotiable. Get all the bloody upgrades. Next to that, grab Sword of Execution Mystic Art that increases damage dealt when attacking an enemy from behind. Rest of the points spend on blue upgrades. 
From Samurai Tree, the only important one is Damage Boost Heart, and then you can go for whatever you wish. Omnio Magic, we need Protection Talisman, Steel Talisman, Extraction, Weakness, Get Carnage as well, Elemental Talismans, all three, and Elemental Stop Talismans as well. From Ninjutsu Tree we need Medusa Powder and Paralytic Ground Fire. We need plenty of ways to paralyze an enemy and these are two of the best. If you do not want to go with Carnage then go for Power Pill from Ninjutsu Tree, which I would recommend. Grab Poison Shurhan as well. Takenaka and Honda are in my opinion best clans for this build. With one you're gonna do more active skill damage, with another one you're gonna do more active skill key damage. Honda has also nice defensive boost, while Takenaka is kinda balanced out offensively more. In this case I was playing with Honda and my active skill damage was at 16%. Maximum is 23%, at least from what I know. Alright, so how to play this? We need some defensive boosts, because this is not a tanky build. So elemental stop talismans are a must to reduce elemental damage taken. Then we also need steel and protection. For offense we need either carnage or power pill, your choice. Power pill is much safer, but you're gonna do less damage. Then we need extraction some kind of element on a weapon, which one depends on the boss that we are facing. And now we turn to offensive stuff. Here is the thing, after the latest patch, debuffs on bosses last shorter period of time. At least that's what I've noticed. So what we do is we put poison and then weakness. This way weakness will usually last long enough for us to perform that first and best DI quick draw to deal maximum amount of damage. As for the paralysis itself you either need to put paralytic ground far at the beginning of the battle immediately or throw medusa powder. I would suggest having both at your disposal at all times so that you can go for whatever fits best for the situation. Another thing that I would recommend is that you don't go into EI quick draw without key pulse. So if you need to initiate an attack during the fight and you want to do EI quick draw, don't do it immediately. Instead, do quick attack from high stance, then key pulse and then go into EI quick draw. That way you're gonna do it faster. Anyway, that's it for this video. I know this is my third time that I'm doing Elemental Sword build, but I wanted to do this final version to see how far I can go. This is still not maximum, as I believe with proper setup and maximized equipment, I mean completely maximized equipment and sword that is plus, I don't know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you can get up to 30,000 damage for that first TI quick draw hit. I truly believe that. Oh yeah, don't forget to remodel weapon to get scaling A from heart. Forgot to mention that. That's all. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Neo2 content.